he'll only eat if I do this and with a yes. If I only do this, he won't eat. Like I'll just try to trick him. No. He didn't eat. Kalo. <laughs> so he only needs to hear the word yes. And with this. Well, that's the only way he'll eat this. Hi everyone, my name is Sahil Bedi. I'm your chef for today. Uh, that's Aslan. He's a three-year-old Alaskan Malamute. He's our sous chef. Uh, he'll be helping me out with eating the food today. That's Alaska, who does not look like a husky anymore. He's looking like a squirrel because he decided to uh, take a shower in the rain. So he looks like a proper squirrel. So what we have today is, I have the Nutri-Sam 365 brisket. I feed both of them uh, these briskets every single day. I give Aslan, I don't know if you can see him. I give him four briskets a day because he's 40 kilos. Uh, it's very good in terms of the protein, uh, calcium, phosphorus, iron. Yes, I'm reading from this. Uh, but yeah, to get it in a nutshell, it's a multivitamin tablet. This is the NutriCoat Advanced uh, Syrup. Uh, very important for the coats. In fact, I recommend every single uh, pet parent with any breed, doesn't matter if you have a Husky or a Malamute or a German Shepherd or even uh, an Indie dog. A coat is very important for a dog's uh, well-being, for the skin. So that this has Omega-3 and Omega-6 acids, which is very, very essential for a dog's skin and their coat. Uh, then I have, of course, Carrot. Carrots are an excellent source of vitamin A, fiber, and your dog's ke teeth are very good for the teeth. So, yeah, it's, it's very good for the dental health. Uh, a lot pet parents brush their dogs ko, uh, like their teeth. Uh, I'm not saying it's a substitute for brushing their teeth, but it's very good for their dental health. Then we have. Okay, Aslan is so interested in the chicken broth. Aslan, what do you Carrot? No? Yes? Carrot? That's <laughs> Uh So yeah, then we have the chicken broth or chicken bone soup. It's very good for a dog's uh, liver, their gut, uh, their immune system. It's very good for a dog's joints. So uh, this dog, uh, he's massive. Uh, his joints need a lot of uh, support uh, for his future as well. So like, even though he's just three years old, I have to take care of his joints because when he grows older, he would need that joint support. He would need a proper diet. Uh, and now we have the good old uh, rice and chicken, which Aslan loves. Uh, so we have 500 grams of chicken here and rice. Chicken, of course, is an excellent source of uh, protein. And rice is a great source of fiber and energy. Uh, so yeah, that's your menu for today. Uh, let's get started, shall we? Po. Yes, good boy. That's all he knows. All he can do is po. Good boy. Aslan to kuch bhi khaa leta. Aslan ko tum carrot do, radish do. I don't think you should feed your dog radish. Uh, but anything you feed him, he'll eat it. So I don't have a uh, weighing scale to, fear, to measure their food. So I don't weigh their food, but I have a rough idea how much to feed them. So I just like uh, lift the bowl up and I get a sense of idea how much uh, food they're getting. That's for Aslan, because of course he needs more food. for Alaska. Now let's put some uh, chicken broth in both of them. There you go. There you go, Aslan. Achha. Chicken tikka nahi hai. Then there's some carrots. Okay, am I the only one who thinks carrots look similar to strawberries? I can't be the only one. अच्छा थोड़ी सी लास्ट को डाल ही देता हूँ चुप चुप के खा लेगा एंड देन 
Four briskets. Okay, Aslan. It's time. The moment is here. Man versus wild, Aslan versus food. It's a love story made in heaven. Aslan, are you ready for this? <laughs> I won't feed him eggs, so let me. <sighs> Stay. So, like, just a pro tip never feed your dog uh, just like this. Let him uh, wait for his food. Uh, that'll give you an upper hand over your dog. He'll uh, respect you more. He'll know he'll only eat uh, if you tell him to eat. Uh, go back. Back. Good boy. Sit. Stay. Uh uh. Stay. Paw. Good boy. Other paw. Good boy. Stay. So, like, he'll only eat if I do this and with a yes. If I only do this, he won't eat. Like, I'll just try to trick him. No. He didn't eat. Kalo. <laughs> so he only needs to hear the word yes. And with this. Well, that's the only way he'll eat this. No. Yes, good boy. Good boy. So a lot of people are scared of uh, if their dogs are food aggressive. Malamutes can become food aggressive. But I'll just show you, uh, I'll put my hand in this bowl. A lot of people will be saying no. But like, that's not it. Good boy. So my hand is in his bowl right now. I don't know if you can tell. Good boy. So I can literally take food out of his bowl right now. Look. I, I took away his bowl. Uh, so it just shows a mark of respect between uh, the dog uh, and the parent. Uh, good boy, Aslan. Good boy. Good boy. Trust me, I've been trying to uh, train him uh, to prevent his food aggression since he was just, I think, four months old. The day he came, that since then I've started uh, training him to not be food aggressive. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel, it really helps a lot. Uh, if you want to see uh, more of these guys. Laska is not himself today. Like I said, he's sick. He won't eat the carrots either. He doesn't like them. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.